right. Got that chicken shack shirt. Put it, put it around. Let me see this. Alrighty. What's good, y'all? Good morning. It's rainy morning. This is Sua. I want to welcome y'all to the world famous chicken shack. <laughs> What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop hit. This is this is a flip flop video, not a wingman video. Damn it! Welcome to Flip Flop. <laughs> What's good, everybody? This is Wingman. You see it? Welcome to Flip Flop. To this day, to this day, to this day. What's good, friends and family? So I'm sure you are subscribed to the channel by now. Almost certain. So allow me to introduce you to another story time. First, I really need you to say you forgot about that first part of Wingman. He was not supposed to be in the video, but I do love his t-shirt. Shout the Wingman. That's the bro. Shout the Paradise Life. Now, I'm going to need you to hit that like button like it owed you money and forgot to pay you on payday. So once again, story time. This story takes place 96 or 97. If you guys been following the channel, I used to be around a lot of rap artists, always around the hip hop, hop community, doing a lot of stuff here and there. You know, I was in, I was outside a lot, so I was always in a whole bunch of stuff. So at this certain story, I believe is around 96 or 97, uh, whenever All About the Benjamins had just come out. So uh, if you guys that don't know, I used to be around Flex, Wu-Tang, Bad Boy, all those guys. I was around, I was around a lot of uh, industry people. Uh, but in this particular instance, my cousin was DJing and part of the Big Dog Record Pool, which was the original record pool of Funkmaster Flex. So one day we're hanging out, probably got, I think he has a party in Brooklyn, a barbecue. We always did parties and bowling alleys and all types of stuff all the time. So our usual routine was before we hit the clubs, go to the uh, record pools, pick up the records, run around, do our talking, get our tickets for the tunnel. We was in the tunnel every Sunday, see what was going on and then head to the barbecues or parties or bowling alleys, get set up, do the parties, and move on to the next thing. So one day, I believe we had a party out in Brooklyn. I can't remember what part of Brooklyn, but it was a nice block party in Brooklyn. So we do our regular run, go to a couple record pools. Then, of course, we got to make our stop to Big Dog Record Pool. Get over to Big Dog Record Pool, chilling like we always do. Shout out to homie Mike, shout out to Flex. Uh, pick up some records, do some, talking some ish, blah, blah, blah. So we on our way. Now, me and my cousin, who's the DJ, we get in the elevator. As we go down the elevator, unbeknownst to us, my cousin actually doesn't have his own office in the record pool, but he's there all the time. A delivery dude walks up and recognizes my cousin and gave us a record. He said, this is from Bad Boy. I need you to hold that. Now, not saying we stole it. It was just one of them things where we were like, well... We'll get it to the powers that be once we listen to it. So we take the record, decide not to go back upstairs. We'll get to them later. And we take off. Now, of course, back there's no record players in the car. So we in the whip going to the party. We don't know what the record is. We have no idea. It's a, it's a bad boy, a blank record. Well, while we're driving, turn on, was it Hot 97 back then? I don't even remember. Whatever radio station was lit back then, the flex was on, and he's going off about this record that he didn't get yet, but he's waiting for. It's supposed to be bomb ass record. It's bomb ass record. So we're not even thinking it's the record we have in our hands. Of course not. Can't be right. We're not even. The dude just gave us a blank record. Said, "Hey, I give that to so and so. Bring it upstairs. We'll bring it up tomorrow. No big deal." Well, we get to the block party, set up. My cousin's DJing. Now he has to have time to listen to the records. We don't know what's on the record, so we playing. The music, whatever. No, he's doing his thing. And he takes a moment, he puts on a couple break beats, and takes a moment to put the record on and listen. And my cousin goes, you won't believe this ish. And I'm like, what? He goes, you know what? Just wait for it. This is crazy. Now I see what Flex was talking about on the radio. We are going to get in so much trouble. We are going to blow Brooklyn up right now. I'm like, all right, whatever you say, like, I'm with you. you know, let's do what we do. So the party goes on, party goes on. He tells me, yo, grab the mic and let the crowd know they're about to get a Brooklyn banger right now. 
So I, I always MC whatever. So I grab the mic and I'm like, yeah, um, Brooklyn in the house. Da, 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 da. So Brooklyn going crazy. And then he did a little cut where he says Brooklyn in the house. And then he cuts on the Benjamins. So he turns the mic over. He says, don't say nothing. Just listen. All about the Benjamins on. Da, 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 da. All about the Benjamins, baby. Then it cuts. He stops it. And he tells me, grab the mic, grab the mic. Oh, so music stops. And he goes, tell him they're not ready. I'm like, so I'm not prepared because I haven't heard the record. So I can't be amped up. I can't be in my, you know, my, mo my mode because I haven't heard the record. I don't even know what I'm getting them excited for. I go, yo, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. We're going to cut this record off. Y'all ain't ready. So they're like, what the hell? Even, even they're like, what's going on? Like, are this dude going to play the music or what? Mine just all about the Benjamins, the original version. So my cousin brings it back, does it all over. Everybody going crazy, everybody dancing. All about the Benjamins, baby. Then he goes, watch what's about to happen now. The beat cuts and Biggie verses on there. Everybody stopped what they was doing. Even me, I was like, because I didn't hear the record. So I'm sitting there like, Biggie? Like, Biggie, Biggie he died. How did he get on his record? Like, this is crazy. The, we had the remix. The Bad Boy remix with Biggie on the Benjamins. Before anybody in this world had it. All because we took the record from the dude going into the, it was coming in the elevator. So, we might get, might get in, well, I can't, can't get in trouble for this now. I don't think they ever found out either. I think Puff ended up getting him another record. Remember, this was before you could just send files of music to people. So, we had to actually get the record. Um... To this day, they don't know that we had that record. We were the first people in the world with that record. But on that block party, we played that back-to-back -back maybe six times. And then as we played other music, people kept coming back to the DJ booth like, play that Biggie joint again. People in Brooklyn, I don't remember what area that was in, I believe. I want to say East New York. They were the first ones to ever hear the All About the Benjamins Biggie verse. That was back, I believe, in 1997. Definitely was summertime. It was a block party. So that's another story time for me to you. I guess you could call it the theft of the Benjamins. I don't know. <laughs> it was a good time, though. Uh, but I'll never forget that because later that night as we're leaving the party, other people are on the radio saying, yo, people is mad because Puff don't know where that remix went. <laughs> and we had the, we had the, uh, the, uh, the record. So shout out to Puff. Shout out to Bad Boy. Shout out to Flex. My cousin DJ Darkside was the first person to ever have and release all about the Benjamins remix with Biggie on it. All by chance. You guys have a good one. Appreciate you.